Let's chill for a bit on Copenhagen Beach. It offers three miles of beaches and it's divided into two sections. The northern section up there has a natural beach environment with winding paths and broad sandy beaches. The southern section down here has a broad promenade and areas for ball play and picnicking and even mini golf. There's also a sauna where you can enjoy a steam or a massage before you take a dip in the sea. And further down here is a large grassy area which is often used for open air rock concerts. This is a great place for doing some workout, whether it's running, swimming, surfing, kayaking, or the local fitness centers offering outdoor group training. And afterwards, you can reward yourself in one of the lovely little ice cream shops. You can only access the beach by crossing one of the bridges that goes over the lagoon. And there is a 3300 feet long swimming course in the lagoon. If you don't like sand in your or grass in your you can go to Helgoland out there, a classic Scandinavian bathing complex featuring three saltwater pools. One unisex, one for men and one for women. Is there a flag around here? There's one. The flag of Denmark is the oldest state flag in the world still in use by an independent nation. I don't know who designed the flag, but it passed with flying colors. And I don't know who reviewed the design, but it wasn't as good as the Chinese flag, because that got five stars. But I'm not surprised, because the Danish design did raise a red flag. <laughs> and there's Copenhagen Tennis Club. And that's where the Hammer, back in his heydays, became club champion. in his heydays of the hammer, he lived in this building on Israel Square, named in honor of the Nazi persecution of Jews in Denmark during World War II. At the time, there were 7,800 Jews and the Danish resistance movement managed to evacuate 7,200 of them by sea to neutral Sweden. Hammer would never become hangry, because he could just go to the food market here and get sandwiches, seafood, all kinds of chocolate and cheese, and ice cream, and you name it. Or just enjoy an ice cold beer or an exotic cocktail. Let's go to the park over here while we take a... What is the world's oldest food made by mankind? I can tell you that it's not popcorn, even though that dates over 7,000 years back. Oh no, the oldest food in the world dates more than 30,000 years back to the time when humans transitioned from hunting to farming and started cultivating grain. 
This building is a library and is called the Black Diamond, which is a reference to its polished black granite cladding and irregular angles. The library also has a 600-seat auditorium used for concerts, ballet, theater, conferences, and lectures by writers and intellectuals. Some of the speakers have included the German novelist and Nobel Prize winner Günther Grass, the novelist Salman Rushdie, and another Nobel Prize winner Kofi Annan. Another speaker is an American writer and film director, and he wrote the screenplays to the two splendid movies from 95, Smoke and Blue in the Face, both with Harvey Keitel on top of the cast. What's the name of this writer, whose books have been translated into more than 40 languages? The Black Diamond also hosts exhibitions on a range of topics from history to contemporary photography. One exhibition is Stranger Than Kindness, which is a journey into the creative world of the musician and storyteller behind the exhibition. What's the name of this Australian poet and singer who in 96 made this duet with Kylie Minogue? On the first day I saw her, I knew she was the one She stared in my eyes and smiled For her lips were the color of the roses That grew down the river, all bloody and wild When he knocked on my door and entered the room My trembling subsided in his shore Second day I brought her a flower She's more beautiful than any woman I've seen I said, do you know where the wild